thing, Father, we thank you. You are the victor. You sent your Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ, who died, rose again, and paid the price for our sins. He conquered death. He conquered death forever. And right now, when so many people in our world are facing death, we cry out to you. We cry out to you for those who have had to look this virus in the face as they've experienced the loss of someone. We pray for your comfort and your healing for these people. We cry out to you for those who are ill, those who are yet to become ill. Please tenderly care for them. Some will not recover. Will you draw them close to you? And will you give them the comfort of your presence, that comfort that nothing else can provide? We pray for those who care for them. Will you look after them? Will you protect them? We pray for those individuals and families who are under greater stress at the moment. Some because they are locked in for long periods and that's just too much for them to handle. Some because of financial hardship. Some because of mental health challenges. We pray against any form of domestic or other abuse. And we ask that all those affected will turn to you and to those appropriate people who can help. We pray for our government, our leaders. We ask that they will look to you for guidance and they will follow the guidance that you give them. We pray, Lord, for those who are frightened, especially little children and elderly people. We ask for the comfort and the reassurance that only you can give. We pray for those who feel isolated and ask that neighbours and friends will reach out to them Above all, we ask that they will seek your companionship. You are the greatest companion. For all those in our world, in our town, in our land, on our globe, who are affected in any and every way by this virus, we pray. And we pray that as we continue worshipping you this morning, we will know the joy of your presence amongst us. We pray all of this in the strong name of Jesus. Amen.